turpino tematu par dzelseļa līnijas Reila Baltika izbūvi. Ministri un ministriju pārstāvi šodien tiks iezara Eiropas komisijas Ziemeļu jūras Baltijas jūras transporta tīkla koordinātori Katrīnu Trautmani. Plānots, ka viņi informēs arī parlamentārās izmeklēšanas komisijas deputātus par situāciju ar Eiropas Savienības fondu finansējumu, kā arī sniegs vērtējumu par Reila Baltika projekta virzību. Šodien mums iespēja studijā ir tikties ar Katrīnu Trautmani, transporta tīkla koordinātoru no Eiropas komisijas, lai pārunātu, kā Baltijas valstis kopumā virzās uz mērķi uzbūvēt šo dzelzceļu, un kas ir problemātiskais Latvijas pieejā un kādas iespējas, protams, papildu finansējumam. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thanks for joining us uh, in Latvijas Television. Uh, Real Baltic has been really considered for years already as a strategic project for Europe, for Baltics especially, uh, in both in terms of safety as well as uh, quick connectivity. Uh, but uh, there is enough complications, as we know as well. So, according to your opinion, what is the most problematic areas uh, in this project to, um, to proceed with it uh, in an effective manner? Yes, um, I think that uh, Red Baltica is now a necessity, not just a priority for European Union, but also for the three Baltics and for the neighbors, because Finland and Poland are, you know, strongly connected and they wait for, uh, for what? For a decision, a quicker decision, and especially in Latvia, my messages coming in and meeting the cabinet is to <coughs> express uh, the will of the commission to see a quicker decision which can be taken in the construction. We see the debate and I will see the committee of inquiry even if I'm not dependent on a national parliament. I uh, depend on the uh, uh, European parliament, of course. Uh, and my second message is to express uh, the support of the commission. Uh, the problem is essentially uh, the time, the speed of realization and also the money. Uh, and the cooperation and the strong, uh, you know, involvement uh, in the same time of the three Baltics. These are the difficulties. It's not, you know, conditions which cannot be, uh, you know, um, taken uh, and uh, solved. Um, there are solutions and I'm not, uh, you know, I'm um, reasonably optimistic, even if now with the costs increasing with inflation, with the war in Ukraine, it's more difficult, but that's why we need cooperation and this phasing uh, in the realization. In the Baltic states, each country's approach to project development is different. What do you consider to be the strongest in each perspective? You know, I, th I see progress in the three countries and uh, I see that construction is beginning. Um, you know, there are um, around 70 kilometers uh, in uh, Estonia, the same in Lithuania, and I know that in uh, Latvia uh, there the is, you know, uh, the construction uh, which is feasible now and which can begin uh, next year. So I'm confident because progress are going on in the three countries. So I think that um, uh, every um, problem can be solved. In, in Latvia the problem was at first to build uh, the stations why it was uh, supported by the commission it was supported because money was you know present and we didn't have uh, plans and design for the main line then we saw that with the the diminution of the of the of the uh, money coming from uh, from uh, all the uh, sources we had to change the strategy and to build the main line because you cannot have tr tr we cannot have uh, railway stations without any train. So this is quite evident. Now we are looking for solutions to finish and to support Latvia to finish uh, the uh, stations and to build uh, the main line and connect the main line to Riga. But so still, in which, uh, in which sequence the priority is then? Uh, stations no, or main it, line? You know, the, the, the project didn't change. It's very clear that the, uh, the, the project as at, in the whole uh, dimension must be realized. That's why we have these first phases, north-south, connecting Estonia, connecting uh, Lithuania uh, to uh, 2030, as such. So this is uh, feasible in the same time. If the money is found in other sources than the uh, mechanism for interconnection, uh, this is feasible to finish the stations. So for me, it's not a debate, this one or this one. Uh, the priority mm -hmm. is to realize 
the line, the main line, because if you don't have trains and you don't connect Estonia and Lithuania, you don't have reason to have uh, the European uh, you know, support of the CEF. So this is a condition. Precondition <laughs> is to, to realize the main line. But in the same time, we want to prepare the second phases and realize and finish the stations. So this uh, is the discussion we have now. And uh, there are several possibilities. Two other sources of budget in the budget, European budget, which is in discussion. And the second is PPPs. So this is also a possibility. But do all players have enough synchronizing power to accomplish the joint project? Are there any a little million, million little things that, um, in which the overall picture dissolves? I don't understand uh, your, your topic. Uh, I guess the, the idea was about um, all three Baltic countries that uh, each of them has a, a little bit different perspective and uh, many uh, local yes. national plans. And maybe the overall picture of this uh, strategic main line through the Baltics as such, and you mentioned Finland and Poland, it, it somehow dissolves in the uh, really over-detailed planning that maybe the, the general strategy somehow is... Some, sometimes a bit lost. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we, we need to, to go to the overall picture uh, because uh, it, is, uh, it is a link between the three Baltic countries. It's not just national uh, project, even if it's constructed on the uh, you know, national space. So uh, we, we must find the balance between uh, the uh, European uh, added value and also the benefits for the population, for business and for security. Because this is the main topic uh, for population. It is to have good service, a good uh, transport service, to have the capacity to be linked uh, easily from the, the regions and cities and not only the capital cities. So for stations in <coughs> regional stations are, you know, in, in the project. So this is also very important, the link uh, to, to Riga too. And uh, of course, uh, the link to the airport, uh, Rix. So this is, uh, you know, um, the, uh, on the table. And it's not just the question of the Minister of Transport. It will be my message to this morning to the Cabinet. It's the decision of the total government. We need the financial, uh, the finance minister. We need to, uh, you know, look on the economy, how we do it. Uh, we need to have uh, all the juridic aspects which can be taken on board also, security, uh, security minister. So it's really uh, a complete uh, team uh, we need now. It's the case now in Estonia. It is the case, I hope so, with the new government in uh, Lithuania. I didn't meet them uh, because they are just um, uh, elected. But uh, I want to express for the, for the auditors that uh, we must understand that it takes time, always. And all the big projects in Europe are in the same conditions. It's not a particularity in, in Latvia or in Estonia or Lithuania. It is the same everywhere in my country, France. It is the same with the Lyon-Turin, with uh, another big project. So it is, um, you know, a new situation given by covid by uh, this, um, um, you know, long time for decision and for and, and because of the budget now. So, but nothing, uh, nothing is really an handicap for the realization and construction. Um, you mentioned uh, the budget several times already. I wanted to um, to go maybe in more particularity about uh, the EU funds. Mm -hmm. We are discussing that maybe the funds could be redistributed uh, for this building of stations, for instance. Um, what exactly is uh, what you expect from Latvia's side and where Europe is like, ready to guarantee um, already a particular sum uh, to be available and to be distributed for continuation of this project, so in financial terms. Yes, what we wait for is the uh, engagement of the national budget. Because uh, we see that, uh, you know, the, the Latvia is a bit late to uh, give <coughs> the payment for RB Rail, for example, the company, or uh, for the LDZ, uh, the uh, Latvian, uh, you know, partner. Uh, for the construction. So now uh, we need to see that there is a, in, the, in the national budget margin of manoeuvre because uh, always when you are in construction you can diminish certain costs but you have uh, surprises or you know um, things or problems uh, you couldn't expect. So to be prepared 
carefully, needs to have the European budget. This is 85% of what is eligible. This is the CEF. This is the budget which is, um, which is in competition between several member states. And the two others, that is cohesion funds and the resilient uh, fund, uh, which can be taken for, uh, the, the, um, for finishing uh, the uh, railway stations. These are, you know, uh, the uh, funds which uh, Latvia is, uh, you know, able uh, to take care of uh, just on the national level. So this is very important that the preconditions of the both, uh, you know, sources uh, can be met, decision, participation of the national budget, time frame, and also a method of, uh, of piloting uh, the project. Are so we close to meeting those preconditions <laughs> to your viewpoint? At this point. I think um, we, we are in discussion. It's, it's, uh, we will finish. I think we will have a, a very beautiful moment very soon. Uh, the joint agreement, which is in discussion with the three Baltics, with the neighbors, Finland and, and Poland. And this will be uh, the uh, expression of the engagement of the three Baltics and the, and the neighbors to finish uh, the first phase in 2030 uh, with the, uh, the, the um, objective of realization of the connection to the capital cities, Vilnius and Riga, and, uh, and uh, the second phase uh, on, on the track. So this is uh, the uh, perspective, and I think it will be a very strong message uh, for the citizen uh, of Latvia, of Estonia and Lithuania, but also for European taxpayers, because, you know, <laughs> the money is coming from the European taxpayers and they want to see results. But is there any possibility that Real Baltic could not be finished or it could be cancelled and not built? I think no project uh, of this size and uh, this, uh, you know, complexity uh, was stopped in Europe. Uh, we have to organize the continuity of the, of the budget, European budget. So um, that's why we have to demonstrate with the Rail Baltica and a successful first phases that we need to finish it. If we are able to show that we need to finish it with a beautiful realization in the first phase, we have the arguments to keep the priority for the Rail Baltica. This is a very strong, you know, uh, 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 possibility. I'm not a magician, I cannot just invent uh, the sources uh, in the budget, but I know that uh, we need the three Baltic very strong uh, in the discussion on the next period of budget, because this is really the key. Thank you very much Thank for so the much extensive for overview of this uh, strategic project for Thank both you. parties, Baltics as well as Europe uh, in general. Thank you very much.